Hello, Leah. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back <clears throat> to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general, your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading and it's time sound. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. And that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around there sometimes. You know, sometimes there could be just messages for Al that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish. You really need some new decks. <laughs> finish the name of these cards. All right, so I'm just going to take these in. You might see extra cards uh, just due to me clarifying some of these, okay? So I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. So Leah, let's start the reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick enough as this being your side, person that you're dealing with on the here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other weekly or your monthly readings, uh, Leo, for this, for this month. It should be pinned in the corner as this. All right. So we have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this doesn't necessarily have to mean someone that you've just broken up with or with a past relationship. That could be someone that, you know, we go through relationships within our life and kind of experience, pick up certain things along the way. And sometimes, you know, once we meet someone, we tend to project that onto that, which causes, and then they could be nothing like the person that you have dealt with in the past or because you've carried that or you've, um, you perceive people to be a particular type of way or certain type of way, you tend to project that onto someone else and they don't have to, you know, they have nothing to do with them. It's that type of situation or could be that type of situation, but definitely release it. And I feel like it's definitely coming from your side simply because of how you're thinking. You're guarded. We'd have the Queen of Swords here, which talks about, you know, this bad, you know, really just guarded, you know, come close, but not too close. I'm going to keep you at a distance. I'm going to keep you at arm's length. I'm not going to bring you into my personal space just yet. There is understanding or compassion or a little bit of compassion and understanding of this person or for this person or what they might be going through when it comes to just being up against you. But This thing, you've got some, with the Hermit card, is certain things that you just need to process. It's like, I gotta, how do I put that? Yes, I want the Empress. This, this has the potential for me to birth something or create something with this birth. But, you know, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm going to have these boundaries up. This could be someone that you've known for a while as well. And when I say no for a while, maybe you've just known them for a while. But someone that you've definitely... Or, and someone that you develop some form of care for with the six of, of, of cups. And it's not to say that you're not wanting to take this in a, a certain direction with the potential of offering love, but you're just not there yet. Or you wasn't there yet. Let's say that. Kind of, you know, not there yet. Not there yet. So while you're putting up your boundaries, you're being guarded. They're kind of showing up as the king in terms of just their thinking. They're wanting to break those boundaries down. They're wanting to you know, come forward and, and just by, based on their actions, they have been given to this. They're the one that initiates dates or initiate phones call, phone calls or that type of thing because they're after that 10 of pentacles, which is 
fulfillment on a tangible level. They want a relationship. Ultimately. Yeah, they want a relationship. On some level, you make them feel better. You know, you make them feel better through that temperance talk there. You know, you've, which is very emotionally fulfilling for them. They have this idea that they can be very much emotionally fulfilled by you, that they can have what it is that they want, i.e. that king of pentacles with you. Now, it doesn't mean, regardless of the fact that you've got your boundaries up, Leo, it doesn't mean that you don't have uh, you know, warm and fuzzy feelings for this person. You're showing up as the page currently, so there's definitely a, 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 an attraction there. There's definitely a crush, definitely feelings that have developed. Um, but we've got that ace of swords, which talks about ideas, solution. Wanting a solution or a solution is coming for you. So full idea or thought has come in for you, which is, how do I put that? Because we have the moon and that's you choosing to not see something. No, choosing to not see something. I don't feel like you're ready to, because we've got the justice card there, we've got the high priestess card there. I don't feel like you're ready to, because the solution has come about for you in how to handle what you'll go through when it comes to kind of putting up the boundaries and easing that a bit with, with this person. Some form of idea or solution or insight is coming for you, but you're choosing to not go with it or you're choosing not to not see. Why? Because of that justice. It's like something might, in your mind, something needs to happen in order for you to be able to be comfortable to do that when really you could just do that. If that makes sense, you could really just put down those barriers if that makes sense. But that high priestess there. as well. Yeah, so you're very slow moving with your expressing your emotions. Slow moving with emotions, even though there's acknowledgement that this person adds value or adds something towards your life or towards you as well. Definitely feeling good around this person. But again, we're going back to clearing your energy of just things that you've up along the way which you're kind of projecting which is causing you to put up your bound and not call them down it's like this person is so it's like they're putting in the work putting in the work putting in the work doing what whatever it is that they need they needed to do in order for you to feel comfortable to pull down those boundaries but it's not kind of it's not really creating a dent it's not really creating a dent which is causing this person to be a bit suspicious you know now they're starting to think what could be the problem and that's consuming their mind. That's consuming their mind. But yes, we've got the tower card there, but that's more about them feeling like things can come crashing down. You know, but they're willing to take a risk. They're wanting to take a risk with this, but they are starting to feel a bit negative around this. So again, we're going back to this releasing your ex or the time has come to just clear your energy or any preconceived ideas, any baggage, you've brought into this relationship or you've brought into this connection, anything that you need to deal with in terms of just letting things go, anything like that, write it down, put it in a journal, pinpoint those things because what's happening is it's affecting how you treat or see them, which causes you to now behave a certain way, causing you to not be relaxed, it's causing you to ultimately not trust, really. That's what it boils down to. It's real. It's more about you not trusting this person to not hurt you. Hurt you. There you go. That's what it is. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, Leo. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, is it Leo or Taurus? One of... Leo or Taurus. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, so subscribe to my channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next time.